We need to exceed what we did last year. And Mike said that on the first day. His first year in charge, his first full year, or almost first full year, uh, you know, we narrowly missed the postseason. And last year we made the made it to the past the first knockout round. And this right. year we need to get beyond that. Of course, we want to win it every year, but sure. all teams want to win it every year. So it'd be foolish to set that as the goal. But I think we need to exceed our play last year. And uh, obviously, we're judging on results. So at the end of the day, that's what we're trying to do. Depth wise, you've been, you've been here a long time, but it seems like in the attack, you guys are pretty, I don't want to say you're the deepest you've ever been, but it seems like kind of across the board, you can go as many as two or three deep at different positions. And I'm wondering, like, having watched these kind of younger guys develop from afar, what's impressed you about kind of where they've come going back to maybe even when you remember them coming up through the academy system? I think how quickly they've acclimated yeah. into the rigors of, you know, the demands of being a professional, yeah. how they handle the pressure, how they handle the longevity of the season. Sure. The transition has been almost seamless. Yeah. And the fact that those guys are playing, you know, like they've played in this league for six, seven years right. is, you know, speaks, speaks for itself. And so that's a credit to our investment in our academy, but yeah. also the, you know, the young men we have in our team. And speaking to the attack, I think, you know, there's a lot of tough decisions to be made by the right. coaching staff every week, but the season is more congested this year. You know, there might be some extracurricular tournaments throughout the summer and whatnot yeah. from what we hear. So I think, uh, you know, we're going to need everybody, and uh, it's, it's, it's a good problem to have. It's exciting. Do you like that the schedule's a little more condensed, <laughs> whereas, like, we don't, we're not going to go till December to have the playoffs and that the regular season will end before it snows around the country? <laughs> As players, are you, do, you, do you enjoy that? I mean, it'll, it'll be kind of like you mentioned, summertime, it's going to be jammed. Sure, it is going to be jammed, yeah. But I think, uh, you know, thinking back to, you know, when we played in the final in right. KC and half yeah. the field is frozen, frozen. this yeah. is probably a, a good move. <laughs> right. Every year we lose so much momentum sure. in terms of publicity, in terms of, right. you know, as a spectacle sure. during the playoffs. And right. this is the right solution. Right. Uh, just looking at it from afar, as a player, it's going to be so much fun to be in if you make a run, if you're playing every few days and you yeah. get some momentum. And as a fan, I mean, I can't imagine. This is essentially a World Cup, a mini, you know, MLS yeah. World Cup every sure. year. So. Right. Yeah. Wondering what's impressed you about Sam Johnson <coughs> since his arrival. I mean, he kind of got thrown to the dogs a little bit. He got here, and then like the next day, you guys got on a flight to Hawaii, and then you've been going ever since. But I'm yeah. What, 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 what impresses you when you watch him in training or in games? Sure. Yeah. Both him and Everton. Um, you know, a little tough situation to come into. Right. They come in, we step on a plane to Hawaii, and then we have that fiasco in Seattle, <laughs> right. where we're stuck for there for the day. And I right. told both of them in the airport, like. I promise not every trip is like this in America. Um, I, you know, I don't think they believe me in the moment. <laughs> right. But they've never complained, you yeah. know, and they've just been excited to be part of the group. And so, you know, making this big of an adjustment into yeah. a new league, into a new life, is uh, is very difficult. But they've been positive and they've been excited to be here. And uh, you know, it's fun to have them in the group. So, you is, know, is Sam as fast as he is on, <clears throat> on YouTube? Because watching some of his highlights, he's like one of those guys that just like zooms right past people. That is can't true. Really catch up to him. I'm wondering on the field. Whether you're going against Well, him. he's never run past me, he if that's what you're okay. asking. Okay. Yeah, no, right. but uh, <laughs> he is fast. Yeah. Um, I've also been really impressed with his strength. Yeah. You know, he's, he's a very strong man. And um, I haven't looked at the numbers yet. I haven't inquired about that. I know Justin is still technically the fastest man at really? RSL. Wow. Yeah, he's got the highest numbers. Wow. Um, so I'll be interested to ask Matt, our sports science director, that. But um, Sam definitely has the physicality to fit into this league. Cool. There's been so much talk about culture. Um, wondering how, how much you've seen the culture shift at RSL <clears throat> over the last year? Yeah, I think uh, the longer that Mike has been in charge, the longer that you know both him and Craig have been able to make this into you know what they see this program becoming into their their vision. I think uh, that that identity comes to fruition, and I think also with the development of our young guys and kind of the continued influence of the veteran guys, you know we're at we're at a very good position in terms of. Um, just overall leadership and experience and uh, um, eagerness throughout the group. And I think that reflects in our training load every day, the fact that you know everybody's excited to show up every day and we're not taking anything for granted. So the identity that you know Mike has instilled has been, uh, been a positive change. How important is that? Because you could have <coughs> the combination of talent on the field, but how important is, is sure. that culture? I think in MLS, it's particularly important just because uh, you know, we live, we live and die each week, really. You know, one week you're on a high and, and everybody's best friends, and the next week if you lose, it's easy to point fingers, especially when a couple results don't go your way and you're on the road for a little bit. It's, uh, it's a long season, it's a rigorous one. So I think having that constant identity, that belief, even in the times when we're losing, you know, when things aren't going our way, is important to fall back on. And it's gonna be paramount for a group like this, who's, you know, trying to overcome a lot of uh, big money, big pocket teams.